Hi, I'm Jane Graves and I'm a green enthusiast and today I'm here with Susan Hunt Stevens and I'm so excited because she's created an amazing website called Practically Green. Simple ways to green your life and live a happier, healthier life. So, so far we've talked about our home, our diet, transportation and our stuff. And so the fifth way to green your life is really to inform and educate yourself about what is really a wide variety of topics in the world of healthy and green. Some of the things we would recommend are books. Um, there's great books about food and the impact of food, whether it's Robin O'Brien's The Unhealthy Truth or Michael Pollan's The Omnivore's Dilemma. Love that book. Yeah, it's an amazing book. Yeah. And um, online, there are some amazing videos. I know you know Stacey Malkin and yeah. Annie Leonard has done the story of stuff, the story of cosmetics, story of plastics. That it, it's just a really mm -hmm. friendly, easy way to see the impact of these items and to learn about them. There's also some great websites and blogs um, that you can do, and we would obviously encourage people to come take the practically good quiz and learn. Oh, I about did it. last night. It was fantastic. How'd you do? I did really well. Yay. Um, but great. I, you know, I checked a lot because, but I've you know been aware of this for a while because of Stacy's book, yeah. and and I know you had mentioned Slow Death by Rubber Duck. Yes. Which that is, I'm. It's so amazing the things I learn in that book from yeah. flame retardants to, you know, a lot of things that everyone needs to know about. Well, and what I really loved about it was the, the science aspect of it. Yeah. These three people put themselves in a house that had new carpets, new VOC paints, and things like that, and just measured their blood and what happened yeah. to them as they were exposed to things that everybody is exposed to. So it's a very powerful book in that way. Yeah. But learning, um, there's some great little tips and tools. It can be hard to remember green. So, for example, the Dirty Dozen. I can never remember in the store. So carry a card like this one that has what the Dirty Dozen are and has with the clean 15, the lowest fruits and vegetables from a pesticide. And that can make a big difference because right. maybe you don't have all the money to spend on everything organic. Right. But if the dirty dozen, if you can just buy those organic. So green your brain, green your stuff, green your home, green your food, and green your ride. These are the things that you can do to make your life healthier and greener. Well, I love all of them. They're very, very helpful. And I'm sure we'll all benefit from them. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, this is Jane Graves and Susan Hunt Stevens from Practically Green. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. It was great to be here and we encourage all of our viewers to come take the quiz at Practically Green, find out how green you are, and you get practical suggestions of things you can do next to live a healthier and greener life. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out more of our great videos. And if you want more tips on going green, send us an email at request at mahalo.com.